everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's makeup tutorial I'm going to do for you is a Halloween tutorial. You know that I love when it comes around to Halloween. Um, in fact, I have never watched a horror movie because I am so scared of them. Um, I just don't want that sort of stuff in my mind. I don't know how people think up the horrible stuff that happens in, in horrors. Uh, Stacey, who works in the studio, totally loves them. I just find them, I've never watched one. So I'm going to do Chucky for you, which I've never watched. But what is there that's more scary than a doll that is possessed? I don't think there's anything more scary than that. It may be a little bit more scary. Um, so if you've got small children, there will be like cuts and stuff. It might be maybe not small children, small, small children. But for teenagers, it might be great for them to learn how some of it's done and that it's not real. But for little ones, probably don't let them watch it because I don't want to scare them. And I definitely don't want my kids watching it. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me get started. Right, hair back. I've got a little chucky outfit on as well. Such a loser. Right, hair back. Now you know what I'm like. I can't do anything without a ball cap. I love to go all out on Halloween. You can buy the outfits, like, and they come with a mask, but I like to just have fun with it. And I've never tried this, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. But that's the whole fun of it with makeup, isn't it? Finding where it will go. Let me just put my ball cap on. I already trimmed it down a little bit. You could just spray your hair. But I don't want to. I want to look like a doll. Now normally you'd cut these around the ears and then glue it on but I'm on my own so I can't cut around the ears and glue around my ears because I can't see what I'm doing. So I tend to cut a little hole in for my ears and then I poke my ear out of it. Come on little ear, pull it through. like an alien being born. Come on little eerie, where are you? Come on little ear, you can fit out of there. Right, I'm just going to trim that and glue that down. I haven't put any moisturiser on because I don't want to... Um... Oh, come on here. I haven't put any moisturiser on because it will stick better if I don't have moisturiser on. Let me get a little bit of spirit gum. I have some spirit gum remover as well. Okay, I'm just going to pop my spirit gum under. Important that you have some spirit gum remover to remove the glue afterwards. Okay, I'm going to skip this bit so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Top of my head looks like it kind of just blends in with the wall behind, doesn't it? How weird. Okay, I want to block out my brows. So I'm just going to brush my brows up. Now, I'm sure I spend the whole year, the whole year growing back my brows just for Halloween tutorials. Whoops, looking bin. Just for Halloween tutorials to then go and wax them out. So I'm going to take myself a Pritt stick. And just brush upwards. I find by brushing upwards, the brows sit... Oh, there's a brow. There's a brow gone. The brows sit much flatter to the face. It's not bad, just one. If you brush them along, they're kind of brushing onto other brows. They don't stick as flat. Okay, leave that to dry. Probably going to go in with um, the scars and the cuts before I um, do the foundation. Just don't know. So, I need a cut here. There's a lot of cuts, isn't there? Right, let me get my mortician's wax, my professional moulding wax. So if you've got a butter knife or something like that, that's what you kind of want for this. You're just going to roll it out into a little ball to start off with. Not a little ball, into like a long worm. I'm just going to get that one to start off with and I'm going to fold it over so it's like that. And then I'm going to pinch it down. That's going to be one of my wounds. I'm going to take a little bit of my spirit gum. I'm just going to run that here. 
and here. And then just take my wound and place it on. Just allow that to kind of dry to itself. So then you're just going to get your fingers and pinch it down. So pinching all the way down. So we've got a nice kind of start of a wound there. Right, I'm then going to take one down all. So I'm looking at a picture down here, down the length of here. Just a little bit through the brow. Just leave that to dry before I start playing with it. Clean your hands after you've done this because it gets really, really sticky. Um, I need one here, one here, and one kind of through the eye. Just get that one. Blend it in. Clean my fingers. Pinch and blend. If you get some of this um, spirit gum, please be careful when using it in any delicate areas. Now, one of my good friends that I actually went to college with, I'm just going to make this one into a little bit of a longer actually and then into a little bit of a circle now one of my good friends that i went to college with he um actually now is one of the top prosthetic guys he went on to um do he does like the prosthetics for batman well i don't actually know i'm quote um for iron man i think he's done he's done loads loads he's amazing his name's christian i'm going to try and get him onto tuesday chat because i think it would be so interesting it's good when people you you know went to college with and things like that are do doing well because you're just so proud of them my sister's actually done another halloween video which is on uh, a channel that we sometimes do some videos on called mum's eye view um i'll put the link in the box and she has done a sugar skull so you can go there to watch that. It's actually really, really cool and really simple. Nothing like this one. Kind of all the bits were done and pre-made, which is really cool. Like you can buy them pre-made. So for those of you that want to be something slightly sexier, I never, ever want to do sexy Halloween. I always want to be like gruesome. I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of what I just did. Um, as long as you see how to do one, then you can kind of learn how to do them all. Great thing I find is using a little bit of moisturiser. You can nearly soften these areas. So it makes them um, kind of blend that little bit softer. Now all of the stuff that I'm using, you can buy. It's not like some makeup artist stuff that no one else can get hold of. It's all stuff you can buy. It is stuff especially. Ooh. It's making me dribble. It is stuff especially for this, but you can, anyone can buy it. You don't have to be a makeup artist. So I know there's so many of you that would be better at art than I am and could do this far better than me. So I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, so my scars are all done. I'm then going to move on to foundation. I'm going to take a little bit of Vichy uh, Derma Blend foundation and I'm then going to use a foundation brush just to wipe that onto the skin. Using a good coverage foundation because I want to have a good coverage because I'm meant to be a doll. I'm using a foundation brush because a foundation brush is going to give me the most coverage. If I use something that's going to buff it into the skin, I'm not going to obviously get as much coverage from it. And just remember to be obviously delicate in some areas and you may have to go over them a few times to get the coverage that you want. I went for this foundation because it's really full coverage but it also makes you look a little bit like a plasticky doll and that's what I want to look like. Right, now I need to add some blood and bits to it. So, I want to get the point of my orange stick and I just want to use 
use it softly through the middle of my cut. And then I have got here some wound filler. We're just trying to push that into the wounds. Right, do that to all of your wounds. So now I need some staples. So I've got a stapler, I'm just doing the staples like that so they're done and then taking them off and just pushing them in. So it's stapling it anyway. This is proper horribly scary. Sorry, now you can see why if you've got kids, don't let them watch this. Scary. Right, I have got an Avon, this is smooth mineral powder. I've chosen a mineral one because it's really shiny and I want my skin to look shiny because I'm a doll. I'm just going to take a setting brush and run that over the face. That's got the perfect finish for this. I'm sorry if this is scaring people, I am under here. I'm going to put links into all my other Halloween videos. Um, I did Corpse Bride, I've done Frankenstein, which I loved. I've done, if you want a sexy one, I've done a vampire years ago. I need to do another one really. I feel like I should have done Annabelle, the new doll. Maybe I'll do her as well. I have got this Makeup Forever Brown um, gel eyeliner. Now he does have brows in some of them, but he also has them not brows in others. So I think I'm going to just draw, if I can, lines like a doll would have. Right, I've got a warm brown liner here, um, Sybil from Obsessive, Cons oh, I can't speak, Obsessive Compulsive Makeup and I'm going to run that over the lid, along the lash line as close as I can get it and under the eye. And I'm going to take a um, soft brush and just buff that in so it makes a black eye. I'm going to go over it with a warm ready brownie tone um, eyeshadow. This one is called um, Hot Chocolate and it's an Anastasia one. Right, I need to give myself some cute little freckles. I've got an Avon um, nude lip pencil just to give myself a little bit of colour nut like a doll's lip colour. God I look scary. Right now I need to put some hair on. Okay, I've got doll's contacts in that make my eyes water like crazy and I couldn't find a wig to work so I have one of the masks and I'm just going to put that on and I would actually glue it into place. But it's just to give you an idea of how the finished look would look. Okay, so I've just stapled a couple of bits of hair together. I'm just gonna cut that. God, I look horrible. Here you have one. There you have two. There is actually three of them, but I'm not going to put three on. So there you have the finished look. If I was, if Chucky was human, this is what Chucky would look like. Um, 
I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, have a fantastic Halloween. I will link all the other Halloween videos for you so you can watch them if you would prefer. Sorry that I look so crazy and scary and all the other stuff. Um, take care. Love you lots. Bye.